Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with Jake and his elite squad of Navy SEALs embarking on a covert mission, to retrieve Amin Mansour, a convicted terrorist, from a CIA Black Site Island prison. Alongside them is Zoe Anderson, a CIA analyst. Upon reaching the facility, they encounter Tom Shields, the deputy warden, who guides them through the ominous prison. As they pass by open cells containing other prisoners, the tension builds. Jack York, the prison warden, is known for his challenging demeanor. Tom cautions Jake and Zoe about York's temperament, and the lack of official notification about their arrival, setting the stage for a tense encounter. York, curious about the sudden interest in transferring Mansoor to a U.S. prison, grills them. However, bound by confidentiality, Zoe refrains from divulging the details behind the move. Despite Zoe's presentation of the official document signed by the Minister of Defense, confirming the approval for Amin Mansour's pickup and transfer, Warden Jack York remains skeptical. He adamantly argues that allowing the transfer of a convicted terrorist poses too great a risk, insisting on personally verifying the minister's decision. York decides to contact the minister and directs Tom to bring Jake and Zoe to meet Mansour, who has endured months of imprisonment and torture. However, Mansour, shrouded in silence, refuses to divulge any information. In a bold move, Zoe requests the release of Mansour's chains, and begins an intense interrogation. Amin Mansour, maintaining his innocence, claims to be a businessman, rather than the terrorist he's accused of being. Undeterred, Zoe informs Mansour of his impending transfer to the United States. In response, Mansour, asserting his rights as a British citizen, demands legal representation. Zoe drops the bombshell that his citizenship has been revoked, leaving him powerless. While outside, Jake expresses concern about Zoe's risky approach, both physically and mentally. Ignoring Jake's warnings, Zoe is determined to expedite Mansour's transfer. Like York, Jake harbors suspicions and conveys them to Zoe and the CIA. In response, Zoe cryptically links the urgency to prevent a recurrence of the events of September 11th. This revelation heightens tensions, leaving some of Jake's team questioning Zoe's true motives. As chaos erupts during the prisoner transfer, Jack clarifies that their mission is solely to escort Zoe and the prisoners. However, the situation takes a dark turn, when someone from the arriving truck opens fire, causing mayhem. Gunfights ensue, forcing Jake and his team to join the guards in repelling the attackers. Seizing the opportunity, Zoe frees Amin from his cell, planning to escape via helicopter. Yet, before they reach safety, the armed group sabotages the helicopter, taking control of the facility. In a bid to find refuge, Jake guides Zoe and Amin to the control room, eliminating several attackers in the process. Tom's attempts to call for help are thwarted by the destruction of the communication tower. Amid the chaos, Zoe identifies one of the assailants as Hakim Siraf, a former mercenary turned leader of a radical group. As the situation intensifies, Zoe discloses Amin's affiliation with ISIS. Evidence from the CIA reveals Amin's involvement in money laundering and funding ISIS for terrorist activities globally. Zoe convinces Jake that Amin is part of a plot to orchestrate a massive bombing in Washington. Determined to prevent the attack, Zoe plans to take Amin to the United States, believing he holds crucial information about the bomb's location. As tensions escalate, Amin vehemently denies any connection to Hakim Siraf and his gang, challenging Zoe's claims. Despite Amin's protestations, Jake remains steadfast in his belief in Zoe's information. Intent on getting them to safety, Jake outfits Amin with a bulletproof vest, a precaution that draws a cryptic warning from him, suggesting regret for trusting Zoe more than himself. In the corridors, two members of Jake's team valiantly fend off terrorist attacks, sustaining injuries but holding their ground. However, Tom, unconvinced by Zoe's narrative, contemplates surrendering Amin to Hakim Siraf and his gang to halt the assaults. Zoe intervenes, vehemently opposing the idea of sacrificing Amin for the sake of peace. Growing frustrated, Tom urges Jake to eliminate Amin. Refusing to take a life, Jake faces a gun-wielding Tom, who is determined to execute Amin himself. In a desperate plea to save his own life, Amin discloses a heartbreaking truth, his five-year-old son was killed in a US military missile attack during a wedding ceremony. The tragedy pushed Amin into the clutches of Hakim Siraf and his radical gang, exploiting his company for money laundering. Amin's revelation unveils a complex web of grief revenge and manipulation, shedding light on the motivations that led him down a perilous path. Amid the escalating chaos, Amin vehemently denies any knowledge of the bombing plan Zoe alludes to. Their discussion is interrupted by a video call from York, who reveals that the emergency phone in his office is malfunctioning. York urgently instructs them to leave RA, 
but the call is abruptly cut off as York faces a terrorist attack. Tom discloses RA's location to Jake, who decides to venture there himself, to recalibrate the signal and request military assistance. Before departing, Zoe confides in Jake, expressing her suspicion that Amin may be lying, and insisting he likely knows about the impending bombing and the bomb's location. Jake navigates a small window leading to a secret passage, evading terrorists in the corridor. Outside, he witnesses Hakim and his gang engaging in a firefight with soldiers and prisoners. Hakim interrogates a prison administration officer about Amin's whereabouts, learning of the plan transfer to Washington, by the CIA and Navy SEALs. Frustrated, Hakim kills the officer and commands his henchmen to search for Amin. With a sense of urgency, Jake eliminates terrorists en route to RA. Inside the control room, Jake finds himself at a disadvantage, struggling to comprehend the intricate equipment. Unbeknownst to him, a terrorist slips into the room, poised for an attack. Fortunately, York intervenes just in time, eliminating the assailant. With the immediate threat neutralized, York attempts to call for reinforcements, allowing Jake to make a strategic retreat, leading the terrorists away. Meanwhile, Hakim and his henchmen persist in their relentless search for Amin Mansour, convinced he remains in the control room. Hakim singles out a young and impressionable subordinate, praising his dedication, and invoking the oath the young man had sworn, declaring a readiness to sacrifice his life for a noble cause. Motivated by the promise of reward, Hakim outfits the young man with a bomb vest, instructing him to carry out a suicide bombing. The young man, visibly shaken, is encouraged by his comrades, who laud the mission as noble and rewarding. Hakim, accompanied by his henchmen and the reluctant young recruit, storms the control room. Smoke bombs are deployed to obscure the view and create chaos, distracting the Navy SEAL team members. Simultaneously, Jake and York manage to return to the control room through a secret passage, where York, fueled by anger over the loss of his men, intends to kill Amin. Zoe and Jake intervene, attempting to prevent York from executing his vengeful plan. A fierce shootout ensues, resulting in the tragic demise of all members of the Navy SEAL team. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Jake and York rush to assist, but their efforts prove futile when the young recruit, on the brink of a suicide bombing, detonates the explosives at the entrance of the control room. In the wake of the devastating explosion, Jake and York miraculously survive, thrusting them into a heightened state of peril and uncertainty. Amin, like Zoe and Tom, is severely injured and incapacitated, leaving Jake to assess the dire situation. Despite Jake's instructions for Amin to stay put, he disregards the orders, hastily making his escape. With Zoe in a weakened state, she confides in Jake about Amin's pregnant wife, and implores to take him to Washington to save his family. Zoe's final words echo the urgency of the mission, as she succumbs to her injuries. Realizing the imminent danger, Jake conceals himself when Hakim and his gang enter the room to investigate. Hakim, visibly enraged upon discovering Amin's escape, reveals that the sacrifice of the young recruit was intended to prevent Amin from divulging information about their impending massive bombing. Tom, surprisingly still alive, discloses to Hakim that Amin has exposed everything. In retaliation, Hakim ruthlessly ends Tom's life, and orders his henchmen to resume the hunt for Amin. However, the urgency escalates as Hakim receives intel that the United States military is dispatching air support, to counter their attack and transport Amin to Washington. Faced with this new threat, one of Hakim's henchmen suggests abandoning the search for Amin, and swiftly leaving the premises. Undeterred by the imminent threat from the United States military, Hakim adamantly insists on not leaving until Amin Mansour is eliminated. Unaware that he has cleverly concealed himself among the corpses of prisoners, Hakim and gang remain oblivious to his presence. Seizing the opportunity, he swiftly changes his attire, disguising himself as one of Hakim's men. Unfortunately, his ruse is short-lived, and Hakim's gang soon uncovers his true identity, promptly imprisoning him in a detention cell. Unbeknownst to Hakim, Jake is in close proximity when Amin is captured. Seizing the moment, Jake launches a daring assault on Hakim's henchmen guarding the cell, successfully freeing him from captivity. As Jake and Amin attempt to navigate the chaos unleashed by terrorist attacks, the dire situation takes a somber turn, Jake discovers that all his team members have succumbed to the violence. Undeterred by the loss, now fighting alone, he confronts the terrorists with unwavering determination. Contrary to expectations, Amin chooses to flee, leaving Jake to confront the assailants alone. Despite the challenging circumstances, Jake faces the terrorists head-on, displaying resilience and courage as he systematically takes down each adversary. In the midst of the chaotic showdown, Hakim and his cohorts finally close in on Amin, launching a barrage of gunfire. 
As Hakim prepares to execute Amin, a timely intervention unfolds, Jake emerges from the shadows, launching a fierce assault on Hakim's henchmen. The confrontation escalates, with Jake and Hakim engaging in a high-stakes battle. Amidst the tumult, Amin, protected by a bulletproof vest, manages to escape the lethal assault, fleeing the scene. Jake, relentless in his pursuit, eventually triumphs over Hakim, bringing an end to the immediate threat. Now focused on Amin, Jake corners him, determined to prevent a tragic outcome. Sensing the desperation in Amin, Jake reveals the news of his pregnant wife, and attempts to dissuade him from taking his own life. Just as tensions escalate, miraculously surviving the turmoil, York resurfaces, wielding a threat against Amin's life. Swiftly catching up, Jake intervenes, thwarting his menacing intent. With York now restrained, Jake shifts his attention back to Amin, urging him to reconsider, and join forces to thwart the impending bombing plan. The stakes are high, involving not only the lives of Amin's family, but also the safety of millions. After a tense exchange, Jake succeeds in persuading York to spare Amin's life. With a collective determination to avert the catastrophe, they agree to collaborate. Amin, compelled by the impending danger, consents to accompany Jake to Washington, where the U.S. Air Force helicopters arrive in the nick of time. York sits in contemplation, observing Jake and Amin depart from the island, imparting a poignant moral lesson, highlighting that radical actions are inherently rooted in individual choices, independent of any specific religion or belief system. It underscores the manipulation by radical groups, exploiting others under the guise of religion or faith, solely to further their self-serving agendas. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.